This isn't right. Dr. Marcel, you brought me in for arbitration, and that's what I did. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And your relationship with him didn't play a role? Excuse me? Miss Goodwin, I... What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here. And welcome to Afternoons to like Welcome back, everybody, to One Chicago, bro. Man, oh man, oh man, did y'all enjoy them two weeks off? <laughs> I know a lot of y'all wanted wanted the shows back this week, man. I did too, man. It, it was, it felt. I don't know why, you know, usually the two, you know, if they have like two weeks in between episodes or whatever, or even three weeks, you know. Sometimes they go by real fast, but it felt like it was forever since they've been back on the air, man. I don't know about y'all, man, but it was feeling like it was forever, bro. So, good to have our shows back, man. I don't know if it's, uh, I don't know how many, like, I didn't check. I know for sure they got episodes, new episodes next week. I'm imagining it's probably like three in a row, and then they'll go on break again after that. But I don't know for sure, though, but... We'll see, but at least we at least we got our shows back. So man it was very interested tonight as it usually is, but tonight in particular, uh, things were very interesting between this whole situation that I actually talked about a little bit that was gonna uh, go on in this episode between Marcel and Goodwin. So um we know that Goodwin's been dealing with her ex the last couple of episodes, you know, and his dementia issues that he's starting to go through with uh I think he had Alzheimer's too, right? Like I can't remember uh, what his official diagnosis was, but um, we go into the situation back with uh, Dr. Washington, though. So we didn't see Dr. Washington in that last episode, so I was happy that they kind of went back into everything that was going on with him and Goodwin um, this week, and there was actually some uh, friction here. So Marcel had a patient who uh, had a tumor that was growing, and she was, uh, she had cancer before. She uh, told Marcel, you know, she had cancer before or not. And Marcel was like, I think you need to have surgery because he looked at her tumor and it was in a dangerous area where, you know, it could lead her to other uh, complications like a stroke or something, um, which is something that she could suffer through because of where it was um, in her body. So... Yeah, so the, uh, Marcel was like, hey, let's go get, you know, let's go get you into surgery right now, you know, uh, right away. But Dr. Washington had also had a look at her and he felt like if she could go through with some radiation and we know that the patient had a problem with like, you know, going through chemo again and all the other stuff and radiation. And so she just didn't really feel like doing that. Right. But uh, Dr. Washington thought it'd be best to, instead of going under the knife to go get radiation treatment for it instead and kind of shrink it from there. But, uh, you know, Dr. Marcel obviously opposed to it. And Goodwin kind of took the side of Washington and she wasn't as objective as she should have been, at least in Marcel's eyes. And he kind of snapped on her about it and said, hey, is this because of your involvement with Dr. Washington? She had to kind of check. I'm like, what, what did you say? You know, and then he just walked off. But Hillary, which I believe is the patient's name, right? Hillary, I believe her name was. She ended up uh, collapsing. So the radiation thing was out of the question. She needed to go get surgery right away. So it was no longer in question. Um, rather, she needed to go get surgery or not. So that's what happened with that whole situation. So once that was over, because the surgery was uh, successful, um... We ended up seeing an apology session between Marcel Goodwin and Dr. Washington. And Dr. Washington was actually pleased that she ended up being okay uh, without having to uh, get the radiation treatment that he was recommending. So, and Dr. Marcel uh, apologized to Goodwin for the way he kind of acted. But it, it was very interesting to see, the, uh, you know, him bring up her relationship with Dr. Washington. Because you do wonder, like, especially going into the future, if, if this is going to be a problem for things that she needs to sign off on that Dr. Washington might, you know, disagree with. You know what I mean? And if, if that's going to cause problems between her and the doctor, uh, I, I wonder if they're going to bring this type of stuff back up in the future because I think it was, that's why it was so interesting to me because I was like, man, this could be, this is, you know, I wouldn't even say it was a small thing in this episode, but it just seemed like it's something that could break out even further in the future 
if if uh you know Goodwin continues to you know go down this route of protecting Dr. Washington. So we'll see what happens in the future. But everything was good here. Good to hear that Hillary was, uh, had successful surgery, man. Uh, and good stuff there, man. But going ahead and give me your thoughts on this whole situation because I do like the relationship so far between Dr. Washington and, and, and Goodwin so far. I think he's treated her pretty good. I think he asked her out a good again in this episode. So just give me all your thoughts on this, man. Give this video a like, share, subscribe. We're going to talk about um, Archer and a potential new love interest for him, man, in, that, in this next one, man. So uh, thank y'all for watching this one. Afternoons to light.